we have seen two algorithms of asymmetric cryptography. Diffie-Hellman invented in 1976. RSA invented in 1978, which we have seen in TLS basics and fundamentals session. And to take advantage of both algorithms, there is one more protocol developed called HPKE, Hybrid Public Key Encryption. This is what being used in MLS to make it more stronger. To keep our session simple, we are not going deep into HPKE and continue with Diffie-Hellman only throughout this entire session. So let's back to our next problem statement. Asynchronous Handshake Here we have seen that to send very first message, system is taking long time. Even both users came online multiple times. So how do we resolve this issue using Diffie-Hellman? Let's take server. Declare common formula and define constants by server. Let's install CloudDB called key package. We have one user Alice who want to sign up with our service. Alice generate random secret. Calculate public info and sign up with server. Here you can see public info is stored in DB. We have another user Bob generate random secret. Calculate public info and sign up with server. Again, public info is stored in DB. Let's see how handshaking happen. Day 1. Bob is offline. Alice asks Bob key package from server. Server return key package of Bob. Using Bob's public info and own secret, Alice derive a key. Using this key, encrypt message and send it to server. Day 5. Bob came online and Alice went offline. Server send encrypted message to Bob. To derive key, Bob request Alice key package from server. Server return key package of Alice. Using Alice public info and own secret, Bob derive a key. This is how Alice and Bob can exchange key asynchronously. I hope you understand till this point. Let's understand this again. A and B, two users are there. Both generate secret. Both calculate public info. Using cross information, each one derive common key. Let's create group using this formula. Let's add member C. C generate secret. C calculate public info. Now, how can I add C into group? Let's replicate C. Derive key between both C. Calculate public info. Come up with common key. Let's add another member into group. Remove replicated C from group. Clear all keys that are affected. Add D into group. D generate secret. D calculate public info. Derive key between C and D. Calculate public info. Come up with common key. Calculate public info of common key, which is not immediately required. Here you can see common key 2 that will be used by all members to encrypt and decrypt message. So what is this structure look like? This is called asynchronous red chat tree. Now you can guess why it is called red chat tree. You can clearly see that child can able to derive secret of parent node. But 
if parent node want to derive secret of child then there is no way so this tree has only upward path no downward path let's understand different form of this tree this is called public state this is common for all group member so only one copy is maintained at server per group this is called private state or path secret this is very specific to each individual user for example user a has her own path secret user c has his own path secret this will not store on server this will be stored at the client side now someone might have question that why do we need to store path secret of tree we can calculate all these values whenever we need the answer is storing path secret of user will reduce warm up time of application otherwise consider that group has more than 200 members and user starting from fresh to calculate entire tree each time then it will take some time to calculate entire tree that is why mls recommend to cache path secret to reduce warm up time let's pick our next problem statement post compromise secrecy in this problem we have seen that if we remove any user from group then how do we protect group key so i am leaving this problem to you to apply your own thoughts and think how can we solve this issue using asynchronous red chat tree let's move to our next problem key exchange traffic in this problem we have seen that if any member get removed from group then everyone has to re exchange key and that will generate n into n minus 1 traffic to server so what happen in case of asynchronous red chat tree just for hint it will generate traffic of n now how asynchronous red chat tree will help to reduce traffic to n that i am leaving to you so here is the conclusion of entire session mls has solved five major problems end to end encryption forward secrecy asynchronous handshake post compromise secrecy key exchange traffic for add and remove of members there are many more things for you to explore in ietf draft of mls like why mls is called double red chat how mls derive a new key for every single message how double red chat increase forward secrecy what is welcome proposal commit messages and with this all information we have finished the messaging layer security basics and fundamentals Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.